moving to oneness. Nourishing curiosity. Embracing differences. Becoming one. around 4 o'clock here in Germany. But with that darkness comes also a calmness. And I was thinking about this today. It's also a Sunday, you know, in Germany. Most shops are closed. And there is no rush to do things, but to spend time with family, with the things you have at home, with friends, and time to contemplate, right? Maybe you turn on a candle in your house or your fireplace if you have one or the sparkling lights outside. I have them on my terrace. Uh, they flicker. <laughs> it's fun. It brings a certain atmosphere to the day. So welcome everyone. I'm Mylene. Alki, your host to the Moving to Oneness podcast. Yeah, this calmness. And I was driving today on the way home from the bakery. And I thought, wow, I'm rather calm. And I have noticed that for a while now, but there is a new calmness. I had to think about once upon a time, right, I, I said... I'm a wisdom seeker. But even that is done. I'm not a seeker anymore. It has been for years. But suddenly today on the drive home through this beautiful landscape here in Franconian hillsides here in Bavaria, I thought, wow, this is like an arriving, an inner peacefulness, an inner calmness. like a settlement and I had to think about the word surrender just before I started the podcast it is not even a surrender right we're so often told to surrender but is it really a surrender I'm asking you because in a way if we surrender if you surrender if I surrender in a way it's feels more using the words of a giving up. Letting things just happen to us. But I think it is not a surrender, it is a choice. A clear direction of living peacefully or with inner peace, with calmness. It is not so much of a giving up because then you just, let's say, you give up and you let yourself fall into a river. You go where the river goes. Now, that could be a choice. But in a way, then you don't surrender, right? Because in that moment, if you said, uh, I could just stay here and sit down or lie down or walk away from the river, right? But being okay with one's choice, being in unison with your own choice, being okay with whatever you decide. This brings peacefulness. Because then I think you also or so it's for me, there is this interplay, this observing of others, right? Becoming aware of whatever is happening in 
your surrounding and to stay in a calm, serene state independent of what happens around you. It's more, you know, there's a fun saying and I'm, I've spoken about that. I love to use the wizards because of the visas, right? The ancient ones. The ones that are sure that they're connected to all and they have an understanding of all and they're depicted in movies or in books this way. The wisdom carriers. the wise men, the wise women. They stay calm. It doesn't matter what happens around them because they know whatever they decide next is the right thing to do. They don't get carried away by what is happening surrounding them or outside of them. The chaos, the strong storm, more like a hurricane, right? They're in the center, in the eye of the hurricane. They're in the center of it all, in that still point. And maybe they decide to have fun, yeah, and jump right into that swirl. And maybe you want to do that too. But again, you stay calm in that moment when you make that decision. Maybe a little excited because you know it's going to be fun or you're going to go on an adventure and you don't know what is going to happen. But you're making that decision. This is a wonderful place to be in. Maybe it comes with age. But then I thought also while driving, this is something I really wanted since a little kid. Yeah? And what did you want since you're a little child? Or a teenager? Or a young woman? A young man? in the 20s or in the 30s or in the 40s. In a way, I still want it now. I'm in the 50s. I never let my desire to achieve that dissolve. So there's something from the inside within me where I wanted to have this wisdom, knowledge, I would should say more assurity. And why do I have then this surety? Or why did I want that surety? I wanted to understand. And I understand so much now. So how is it for you? Whatever you desire in your life and have desired in your life, do you understand it? from all aspects, from all your different facets that you carry and express in your life and from these different angles? Can you turn it around and look at it from all sides, from the bottom and from the top? There's a certain curiosity, but a curiosity that you know in a way you can handle it, even if there may be moments where you're a little bit, you know, this little bit of unease, where you don't know what is arriving, what is coming. But again, in this unease, you have a surety, a calmness. Yeah, you remember probably I've spoken about often when I've been sad in my life, there was also this peacefulness with inside because even while I was crying, I was happy about it because I knew it was something is dissolving, something is changing, I'm going to be more aware of something new. So I loved even being sad, right? So it, in a way, it is when you're in love in whatever state you are. Or if you're in love with every emotion you're in. Or when you're in love with every environment you're in. Or whenever you're in love and excited about with whom you're together. I 
when you are excited about the creation you're creating. This is fascinating. And we don't talk about this, I think, enough. Um, provide this information f to children. That this inner drive, these inner ideas and thoughts and wonder that we have as children is really what leads us through so many studies and professions to experience what we desire. The intention we've set on. So I'm not the only one. So I would love to hear from you too. What has been your intention? Your interest? And how often did you forget maybe about it, but then remembered or contemplated and, and looked back on your life? Did it reappear? Or is it the, the, the red line that keeps on flowing through your life in a way always pulling you back on track, pulling you back on the life intention the life purpose that you have, that I have, and that we have, right? We have it as a singular, but then there's we also have it as a group. Because there are many people of us now living here on this planet at the moment. But then we all play also an individual role. And then comes what age group, then comes what gender, even what country you're born into, and into what culture. So ask questions and pull out things that you recognize so you can remember. And as you remember, you recognize what you have been doing all along, what you've been desiring all along. And then it is easier to implement into whatever you're creating now. New. Or anew. And we're coming more into this contemplated state, right? Also the animals world. Now, now if you are the north hemisphere, as I am here. Where the animals take rest, right? I just... <laughs> two days ago in the evening I came home and I was drawn to the right... I've spoken all often about it, right? That I get drawn by the animals. And there was an uh, eagle. Mm. Porcupine? Ah. The little ones that have all these needles on their body. Right? And they roll up. And so he was starting to look for leaves where to rest under for over the winter. And for you too, I invite you now for the next month. Now we have November, December, a little bit of January to see where you have arrived to, what you have achieved, what you have noticed of who you have become. And also you can look maybe at your family and friends, how they have changed and have they followed their dream? Have they become who they always wanted to become? Often, right, we're friends from school years and we're together in our adult years. And then some new ones come and join us on our beautiful passage here on earth, on our journey. So, yeah, I, this is something I would like to give you along at the moment and... See how beautiful you are, all the things you have done and achieved and learned. Maybe write it in, in a book and uh, or a journal or share them with others. Tell your stories also, what you wanted to do, what you have done of these things, what you wanted to do and still want to do. Share it. With the world, with me, with your, our community. Don't forget we have the Facebook group Moving to Oneness, right? Well, we also can ask then for better help in whatever we are creating, right? Or what you want to achieve, where you want to go, places you want to live. 
we don't have to do all of this alone. Yeah, we're here for each other. Because we are, through this exercise, we're understanding each other better. Because we all are part of each other. Hmm? So I'll give you a long song for you to listen to and to feel the vibration in your body and to contemplate and to recognize the few, the beautiful being that you are. And to the connectiveness to everything that exists and to all the parts of you. Enjoy the time for yourself, by yourself, being one. I'm Eileen, your host of the Moving to Oneness podcast. Bye-bye.